Hey everyone, this is Cindy Emmy. Today I'm going to be doing a beading podcast um, video for what I've been working on this week. Uh, I've, I'm going to try to make these more regular, but um, the past couple months I have not been feeling well. Not because of COVID, just because of weather and uh, they put a new roof on our house and it set my sinuses off and a lot of things. Hurricanes make my sinuses go haywire too. Okay, so let's get into this. I do not have any Halloween ones um, that I've beaded recently. They um, should be beating some in the next couple days. Uh, so they'll be up on not this Saturday, but the next Saturday before Halloween, they're going to be going up. But I do have some that are already beaded that are already up on the shop. I will, uh, all links are in the thing below and there should be a tab for like holiday not just Halloween um but yeah so let's get into what I have been working on um all right speaking of holidays uh, if you see any strings I have I'm trying to save my strings uh, uh that I make these out of and it likes to get everywhere so I've got some Mrs. Claus I made six of Six of these for single, and I think I made two pairs to go up as earrings. And they're little tiny Mrs. Clauses. Um, a new um, design that Bead Crumbs, my main, the person uh, who I get most of my patterns from, Jane of Bead Crumbs, she came out with a gingerbread house that was green, and I made, I think, um, I made... Four of these and two sets, so I made eight overall, um, of these green ones. And then I made eight overall um, of these red ones. I just flipped the green and the red. And then I wanted them to look more like what I think gingerbread looks like. So I went through all my beads and... I made these brown ones. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. Ooh. The shadow thing is just my little box. Um, okay, then, all right, I, these are not the palette that she has on the pattern, but I went for a more greeny design than a um, teal design for these little fairies. Um, because I don't have a lot of teal color left of my beads because I haven't bought beads in a while because they're expensive um and COVID <laughs> so um yeah these are more green uh because I have a lot of green because green is my favorite color so I went towards more of a green and I love these I do have I tried doing a more greeny teal shiny thing which I think there'll be a I think it's actually um oh no nope, here it is um, it was on a project, but I made a mistake the first set that I, pattern version that I did, if you can see this, um, camera is telling me it's the exact opposite of the way I can see things. Um, I don't know if you can tell, because I can't really tell on there, but somehow one side of the dress, I added an extra bead and made it all lopsided and... I didn't really like how the colors were working. I used like a pale, um, it's not butter whipped because that's a different color, but I used a pale Ceylon yellow and it just didn't look right for the, um, the wings. I did kind of like the orange for the hair, but it just, overall, I didn't, I wasn't a fan. So I just kept this one since it was a mistake and it's for myself and switched to regular green. <laughs> um, and yeah. And then Jane came out with a ton of insect patterns. Hold on. We got snail. And we got a snail. The reason these are all in twos is because even though I've, I think I've mentioned it on a video before... Um, is because when I make them, I used to set one aside for pictures, but now since I'm doing earring sets, I set 
two aside and the one that has the um the lever back on it is the one that I do I'm now doing single photos of so it's just you know a way so that I don't lose the ones that I do photos of a little ladybug I'm totally gonna have to flip the camera around because I can totally see that it's upside down from what I can tell I don't know why it does that it annoys the daylights out of me another ladybug these are it's not that they're tiny per se because they're quite they're actually you know they're bigger than some, but they just are, they like to hide places. <laughs> Alright, so I made, um, I made six ladybugs, um, single ones that are going up single size. And then I made, uh, two sets of earrings. Um, these I made ten of with four sets of earrings. Um... Then I made four of these with two sets of earrings, and I made four of these in two sets of earrings. Just depending on how much time for these that I had, because these were more my favorite. Uh, I love, I try uh, the ladybug, and let's see if I can get uh, ladybug in focus like the camera is telling me uh, can't get it in focus you don't want to focus on it all right the, I've tried using a different black B because I was running out of black so I had this black AB color that I've never used because I didn't like the way it looked as a single bead but I just decided to use it on the um, the little B which by the way I love this little B um, it's just so cute and makes me so happy. Um, it's, it's just, I, I love the little bee and I loved it so much on the little bee. It does look black. It's just a shinier black, which is what I, I, I like AB colors because they're usually just a shinier version, but the, the black AB just looked, I mean, AB means Aurora Borealis, so it's supposed to have more colors in it, but it just, it didn't look black to me. So I kind of, you know hit it <laughs> like I didn't really want to to use it after I bought it but now I do um all right so next I made some let's move these more this way but keep them there so you can still see them I made a he and she elf and he and she elf Now these, I only made one, no, I made two pairs of earrings and four overall of each, even though I didn't really want to because these are huge and take took a while to make, but they're just so cute. Um, so I may put some, if those sell out, I may put up some pre-orders because I have had a lot of interest in them. And then let's see, I did some giraffes. I love giraffes. I have a stuffed giraffe that I call Kwang Su. Anyone who's seen the TV show, uh, Korean TV show Running Man understands who I'm talking about. Alright, so B Crumbs came out with a castle pattern and I made one of them because it had two different variations what I'm trying to see in the camera. Um, I made one of them and then remembered that I had a different pattern um, from her for a castle so before I put those colored beads away I went and found my other one so we're, we're gonna have a big castle um, a medium sized castle and those are the bright ones and then I didn't do a what I call the gloomy version I didn't do the gloomy version um, in, in small castle, because by the time I was finished with these, I made four of these and two, um, two earring sets, and then I made six of these and two earring sets, but by the time I was doing that, 
done all of these these things took like somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour for me to bead just because they're they're so big and they got so many different colors in them but I love them so much they're they're just amazing and then the only thing else I started beading but haven't finished that are going to go up on the next one are it's almost election time and I had a American flag fringe earring pattern that I was supposed to have made for 4th of July for my birthday. But um, again, I got sick, not with COVID, and just wasn't feeling well. And then the whole roof thing and I just didn't feel like making them and then I was like I'm gonna make them now because technically labor I mean not Labor Day um fourth of I mean, not fourth of July why my brain is not working ah, words um <laughs> election day is a holiday type thing that involves American flag uh it's gonna be the presidential election I am not gonna get into politics on this because no matter what you say about politics these days you get screamed at um, I do not like getting screamed at. I am of the belief that as long as it's not hurting anybody, everybody has the right to their own opinion. Um, so yeah, I am going to finish these this week because I ran out of, um, this red color. Because, again, I was making Christmassy thingies, lots of them. So I was running out of red. I'm not running out of green like I stated before. I love green. I have thousands of green beads um so yeah I was running out of the red bead and it literally right before I started this video um I got the red beads in so I I'm not beading them today because today is video day and also it is um taking a break to save my back and arm because I got if you see my social media I have uh golfer and tennis elbow um and carpal tunnel in my arm apparently crocheting uh, baby things um with cotton yarn is really bad for your joints and so I have arm pain that is slowly getting better but also when I bead and when I knit I hunch and I have to wear a back brace um not that's not a requirement it just makes me feel better if i have something that stabilizes my back and i've been doing so much beating as you can see this past week um that i uh my back hurts and uh, so i'm giving myself a day without hunching uh to relax my back so that i can bead more and that over the years i won't have excruciating back pain all the time so yeah, <laughs> y'all didn't need to know that, but all right. So the next update will be, let's see, these will all be going up in the shop on, let's see, uh, the 24th, I think. 24, maybe it's not the 24th. It should be the 24th. Yeah, it should be the 24th. My phone does not show, you know, the time <laughs> um, that it's supposed to go up. I need to look at my computer for that because apparently my phone and my computer app do not like to connect with each other and tell me dates and things. So, yeah. Uh, so, again, these will be going up on the 24th at 1 p.m. on my shop. But I have tons of other things, a lot more Halloween-inspired beatings that are that have gone up and there will be a couple bit couple more going up um the halloween ones have not been rebeaded in a while and don't have earring sets up because i want to change some of the colors i have them beaded already but i want to change some of the colors before i put up um new photos and things because i've changed beads since i last beaded them I was supposed to do all this in May, but then COVID and COVID brain and then getting sick and everything. It kind of, this year has been a throwaway year. <laughs> I would like to get rid of it and say that it never happened. I think a lot of people would. Um, but yeah, so um, those will not be going up on earring sets. But you can still buy them in two if you would like them in earring sets. Like I have a friend that bought one of the Frankenstein and the Mrs. Frankenstein 
um, ones recently so that she could have a pair of earrings. They're not matching, but they're still an earring set. And I'm actually contemplating putting them up as an earring set. Um, but yeah, so if, if you want earrings, just buy two. Um, and then you can actually get a discount because I have a discount code. All right, this is a lot of me rambling and this has been my beating for the week. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. God bless.